hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos and please check out my channel for other videos about your lovely z word update so the last update about this of it the police arrest tanu gorav and mahesh for killing abby and pragya and ria set prachi and sedat up by telling them to go into an hotel room let's continue there was a sudden smoke in the hotel room and sedat and prachi wondered where the smoke came from and the room's door is locked sedat asked prachi to leave but she says she wants to check who is inside. Sida tries to open their room's door, but someone locked the door from outside. Prachi sees someone with a mask in the mirror, but by the time she turns, that person disappears. Soon, both Prachi and Sida fainted because of the smoke. Ria and Rambu reach there. Rambu asks a staff to open the door, saying that he forgot his wallet. Rambu gets shocked after the door was open. Ria says, I told you, now you believe it. Rambro is in shock and disbelief seeing Sidat and Prachi sleeping together, holding each other's hands. He screams, Prachi! Prachi and Sidat wakes up. Prachi says, thank God you came, Rambro. He says, shut up. I don't want to listen to anything. Rambro says, don't try to tell me stories because I saw everything with my own eyes. He asks, since when has this been going on? Prachi asks, what do you mean? He says, your extramarital affair. Prachi asks, what are you saying? Ria turns to leave. Rambro stop her, saying that Prachi and Sidat should be ashamed. Sidat asks, what are you saying? Your wife is standing in front of you. Prachi asks Rambro, who puts such nonsense in your mind? Ria says, stop it, Prachi. You found my home only to destroy it. Sidat asks, what is going on? Rambro tells him not to be so shocked. Ria started acting and asks Prachi, you did not think once about my husband. Rambro says she did not think about her own husband. Ria cries and walks out. She sits outside and enjoys all the drama. Sedat says, I will go and explain everything to Ria. I and Prachi just came here. But Rambro interrupts and says to have fun. Prachi asks Rambro, isn't he ashamed of saying such stuff? He grabs her and says, did you feel ashamed before doing all this? Then why should I feel ashamed? Ria smiles. Sedat tries to control Rambro, but Rambro tells him to stay away. Otherwise, his anger will burst on him. Rambro asks Prachi, why did you do this? Was there anything missing in my love? You should have killed me if you wanted to do all this. I left my family and everything only for you. Generally, girls leave their home after marriage. But here, I left my home after our marriage. I took care of our home. Rambro says I was fulfilling the wedding vows, but you disobeyed them. Prachi says it is not like that. This is wrong. He says you change your character after marriage. Ria gets happy. Rambro continues that you destroyed me. And that too with my brother. Prachi says you loved me. You trusted me. Please listen to me. He says not to touch me with your dirty hands. You insulted my love. You never loved me. But I loved you a lot. I did so much to make you happy. But you just used my love as a tissue paper whenever you wanted. And then you threw it away. Rambo says if you wanted to have an affair with someone else. Then why did you marry me? Why did you pretend to love me? I feel that you married me and then you wanted to stay with another man. He grabs it that collar. Prachi is in disbelief. Rambu continues and says, why couldn't I see this before? Everything was happening in front of my eyes. I used to think that our marriage was perfect. I wanted to be the number one husband, but I became the number one fool. I was stupid, a fool. I am mad. You were working the whole day with Sidat and you wanted to be in the office always. Rambu says, even at home, you were talking to him and praising him all the time. When people used to ask me that your wife works in the night, I used to be proud to say that my wife was hard working. Now I understood what work my wife was doing. Sidat tells him that he is crossing his limit. Rambro asks, do you know what is limit? If husband and wife are in their house, then there is a limit to enter the house. If you are talking to your co-worker, then you have to talk in the limit. Did you think about that? If you didn't, then why should I think about limit? It is my mistake. I trusted you. You are a raven. You always had your eyes on my sitter. That is Prachi. Rambro says Sidat used to say that Prachi is very good and you wanted a wife like her. You used to say that you were jealous of me and Prachi's relationship. You did not think about me before doing all this, right? I feel like punching you. He was about to punch Sidat when Prachi stops him. Rambro says sorry. I spot your boyfriend, actually, your husband's shirt. You must have accepted him as your husband. Prachi says, I don't want to say anything, as you don't want to listen. Our marriage has been caused by an evil eye. 
He says it is Sida who had evil eye on her. Prachi started crying. Rambro tells her not to cry because those are fake tears. When a well is dirty itself, how can the water be clean? And the tears of shamelessness dry themselves. They don't come out. He says, I trusted you both so much and you both broke my trust. There was someone who warned me about your affair, but I said that they are just friends. Rambro tells Prachi that you fooled me by your sweet talks so that I don't ask you where you were. What you thought was my foolishness, it was my love and trust on you. You first broke my trust and now you broke my heart. You said you wanted to go to work, but actually you wanted to go away from me. Prachi says no one is going anywhere. You are here and I am here. Why can't you see it? He says you were with me. Yes, but you used to love someone else. I was planning our future together and you were planning where to go with Sidat. When you two became too close, you started bringing gifts. Rambro says those gifts were actually for Sidat and whatever Sidat did not like, you gave it to me. You gave me jacket one day and I was uneasy. That was because it was used by Sidat. I don't want anything that is used, be it jacket or yourself. Prachi says enough. That is enough. I won't let you emulate me more. What do you think that I betrayed you? Made fun of your love? It is you who is making fun of our love. Did you forget that I have your name Sindor? Ramru says who knows that the Sindor might be of Sidat's name as well. Prachi says not a word more. You have crossed all the limit. If you say a word more, then. He asks so what? You will kill me? You think you will go away from me after that? You think I will keep you with me after seeing all this? Never. I am angry at myself. I ate your face. I don't know how I married a characterless girl like you. Rambro says, I wish either I was dead or you were dead before seeing all this. I would have cried and lived my life by saying gallant on your photo, but I cannot see this. Why did you do this with me? He falls on his knees and cries. What was missing in my love? She also sits on her nails. She holds his hand and says, I haven't done anything. Rambro looks at her. He touches her face saying, I loved you so much. I always wondered how you were so beautiful. I understood today. Betrayer is always beautiful. She says, I know you are very hot. Your faith is broken. But what about our love? Love stays in the heart only. And the truth is that I love you a lot. Prachi says, keep your hand on your heart once and think whether your Prachi can do this. She cannot because she loves you a lot. She kisses him on the cheek and hugs him. She says, I know nothing except loving you. I cannot remember anything except your name. Do you know why? Because I love you a lot and only you. Not just in this life. I will love you in all my lives. Rambro touches Prachi's face and says, If you bring innocence on this face, then it will look even uglier. You should be ashamed that you lied by looking into my eyes. He wants her not to come close to him again. And if she tries, then he doesn't know what he will do. Prachi wipes her tears and leaves from there. Now, this is where the problem begins between Prachi and Rambro. Please stay tuned by subscribing to this channel and please like this video and share it so that you will be able to know about the next update and what happened next. Thank you for watching.